What a goody boy, huh? What's happening, everybody? Hope you're having a beautiful and amazing day. So happy to be here today. We're going to do another Federation A run today with the hopes of unlocking Federation B. Um, our current project for FTL is doing an entire save with a balance mod installed uh, from nothing to one win on all shifts. We have to do manual unlocks. On our first uh, runs through the Type A vessels, we didn't do a great job unlocking Type B vessels, but we're going to go for that now. We only have one Type B uh, ship unlocked left to play uh, right now. That's the Slug B. Uh, not quite ready for that yet. So we're going to do that nice Federation A run. Look at all these kitties. Jim. Okay, let's put your baby over here, huh? Yeah. What's happening? Mystic Frog, Marlux here, the Rumi. Lance, Greg and Balto. Clocks underhand. Thanks for the five consecutive months, man. Appreciate that. What's up, Angel9001? Now, I won't bring us into the the rest of the broadcast. We'll just let you guys know. Uh, definitely feeling under the weather today. We've all been kind of fighting a stomach bug over the weekend in the past few days. But we're still going to have a great stream. Or as good of the stream as we possibly can. Don Farrow, thanks for the 11 consecutive months. Appreciate you. What's up, Fresher Farnsworth88? Chronic Flow. I also tweeted about that. And to all the people that ask how I'm feeling, I really do appreciate uh, appreciate you asking. We're going to keep uh, that out of the rest of the broadcast. We're just going to have a good run, man. What's up, Ryan Duke? Hey, Wonka. You're a miracle man, uh, as Ashley's told you. Uh, thank you so much for uh, everything you do, man. Your time is greatly appreciated. All right, what should we name this fine vessel? Uh, our goal for this vessel is to get, while using the Federation Cruiser, use your crew in four special blue event choices by Sector 5. Uh, artillery, Mastery, get to Sector 5 in the Federation Cruiser without upgrading your weapons. So, uh, not getting to Sector 5 without upgrading your weapons is a pretty tough challenge. Using the artillery being the whole way. If we're going to do like an easy mode run, it wouldn't be so bad. But the truth be told, we kind of need to go for this one instead. Four special blue events with having a rock and an NG. Uh, if you're looking for distresses and you find the right sector, should just happen for you. Blue Boy 1005, thanks for the 32 consecutive months. That's right, one quarter more for three years. Thank you for all that love, man. <laughs> all right, Goofling, we'll do it. The Super Iron Man. Let's see where we're at on this names list here. It's a Mellow Canuck, Creeper Threat. Drogodines, Rhino Shoes. Alright, it's gonna start back at the top here. We got Delbach. We got Silver Moron. And we got Bunny One. Total cereal. I gotta say, it's a welcome back to the Dapper, I believe. Thank you. All right, let's hop on in. Again, our goal for this run is to get one of these two achievements. We're gonna attempt the diplomatic immunity one here. Um, while using the Federation Cruiser, use your crew in four special blue event choices by Sector 5. I think that's at least a coin flip every run, starting with a NG and a, a rock. It has to be. Hey, I have played FTL on the iPad Rock R. It, it, the controls are intuitive. You can do everything in the uh, FTL iPad version you can do in the PC version. The only difference is it requires a little more patience, uh, especially firing things like beam weapons. It's a little bit slower paced, uh, runs for at least me personally, um, to pull off some of the more advanced strats like, uh, you know, skipping a hacking, uh, hacking part past a drone is a little bit harder to manipulate on the iPad, but it can be done. Uh, and everything runs great and plays awesome. It's a very great translation, in my opinion. 
Holy guacamole. Hey, Sir Fade, thanks for the 70 consecutive months. Patsy126, thanks for the great 11. TZNE, that's that's 50 months, man. 5 0. Wowza. Carriger, thanks for the 70 consecutive months. Lance, welcome back to the Dapper. Appreciate you, dude. Gonzo the Sock, thanks for the 43 consecutive months and casually challenged. Thanks for the 27 consecutive months. Living that slug life. You guys overwhelm me. Okay, is everything set up the way we want it? Here it is. Uh, one of the things that balance mod changes in a lot of cases is uh, like where, where the crew starts on a ship. On this one, uh, I forget in the base game, it's all messed up. Like the manis is in shields, I think, and the... I don't know. It's not right. This is right, though. We want the uh, manis over here. Engine, engine in the shield room. The reason you want the engine in the shield room is it frees him up to be able to leave the system. If he's on piloting or engines or even weapons, it's more detrimental for him to leave than shields. Alright, let's get some water here. Water's good. Ah, dang. Well, glad you can make a live show tonight, Tater Bacon. That's awesome. Hey, Rocker. I, I, the only time I played uh, FTL on the iPad, I just took it on a, a train ride, and it was awesome. It just passed like three and a half hours like it was nothing. Had a great run, and then, uh, yeah, we were there. Shadow Kid 017. Thanks for the 59 consecutive months, dude. Wow. One more for five years in Skullgar 321. Thanks for the great 10 months. Yeah, water is good. That's true, Pika. Okay, one more thing we should mention about the Federation A here is the artillery beam uh, on the ship. This automatically fires a all-shield piercing um, laser beam that goes through the ship. Uh, the higher you level it up, the lower the cooldown is. Now, this is the one good thing about the Federation ship. You find no weapons on your run, but you have a great scrap start. You can invest in this artillery beam and kill ships with only that. Uh, you can do that, and one of the achievements is for that. Okay. Well, we got two options here. We can head down this way. Oh, no, we can't. Oh, no, we can't. We're going over this way, then. So we're going to lose four jumps here, access to those. Uh, we can head back down this way and see uh, probably every other jump. This one's also dead, so there's five dead jumps so far. Any other ones we don't see? One, two, three, four, five... You know, I, I guess in uh, reality, these three are gone too, because if we take one of these, we have to take a jump back. Rabbit Knife, thanks for the 33 consecutive months. Appreciate you. Uh, but I'll be able to sum, sum up Captain's Edition uh, briefly. Uh, it adds a ton to the game, but it is relatively unpolished, is, is really the reality of it. A lot of typos and stuff, and uh, a lot of fun stuff, but a lot of broken stuff, and a little bit of everything. It's definitely a unique experience. Okay, well, this sector is kind of telling us where we have to go. We're losing seven jumps just right off the top. So we're going to have to min-max our pathing here just to get enough jumps out of the sector. A missile shoots across your bow when the jump completes. Your scans quickly reveal a ship with pirate markings pursuing an unknown vessel. The pirate hails you, Damn it, we weren't expecting company. Stay out of this and you could profit. I'm not going to take your bribe. So, but it's a chance at a double reward here. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. So this is a combo that can definitely uh, do some nice damage to our ship, and we're, we're weak to our weapons going down, mostly. Okay, that was very uh, good. Also very nice that uh, the drone went down on the, the first damage there. I'm going to slide off shields here real quick to take a look inside their ship. Okay, they have a singular human repairing that. That's good for me.
Okay, so it's fully down now. So we know for sure they only have two points in drones, and uh, those two points are powering one combat drone. Okay, one repair through, so we'll uh, power through. Now, if this was still uh, still red, still there, we would not want to fire the burst laser until we saw the repair happen. Uh, the reason for that being is if we shot the laser and uh, did two damage, one to the shield, two lasers hit while it was still red, and then the repair ticked over right after the damage happened, uh, we misused our resource. This way they have to continue repairing the uh, entire another bar. So you can see how close they were to repairing that. So if it was red, and then we fired, uh, we misfired, and then they repaired right away and began repairing again on the next bar, it's possible that the combat one gets up with a bad volley, and then we're right back into uh, a bad situation. Little stuff like that makes all the difference, especially in the early fights. Wow, that is quite the deal. Bwahaha, 9,000. Welcome to the dab. Hey, Evil Kados. What's up, Chronic Flow? Well, considering this is a chance at a double reward, I think we have to reject our offer and continue our soul here. Okay, enemy FTL delayed. Uh, let's go... Let's go for the piloting hit here. Okay, eight, 8 and 17, 25 scrap for one jump in Sector 1. Pretty darn good. One half of the way to our, our second shields. Oh, we're not going to surrender one of our crew to Schlavers. Oh, humanitis. Okay, so we can see there's double human here. We're going to rock back to the shields here, because if the heavy laser fires at 8 seconds, uh, and this fires at 12 seconds, having somebody on shields, if it doesn't negate damage happening from the, the mini beam, it'll at least, uh, you know, make it less. Mini beam cannot pierce any shield, so uh, the extra charge rate, how fast this bar charges for having him manning the system, makes a big difference with this setup only. Takes about a second for it to fire and get there. And there you have it. We took one damage. We probably would have taken two or three damage uh, had he not been on the shields. Nuclear Cowboy, thanks for the great 29 months, man. Swing and a miss. Ooh. It's Caldas. Thanks for the 31 consecutive months. Nice. Ooh, well, you know what? I would like more crew, but this is a guaranteed high scrap reward. And that's a humanitis. What's up, Ranger XC, Gracknock? Ignaz, Kin Blue. Mm, so many wonderful people here today. Thank you. Surrender is not an option. Not for not for Justin. Sorry, bud. The human eyes was quite severe, you could just tell.
Explore the asteroid field. Okay, we haven't seen a story yet, but we're definitely going to buy two shields here. Uh, two shields is almost never the wrong choice uh, with your first 50 scrap. And I'm not going to change that here. Okay, we are going to take here just to look at these two jumps, I guess. Searching for distress beacons where we can use our crew to our advantage. Okay, this beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate, apparently oblivious to the danger of the sun, moves in to engage. Hey, Slick Sorcerer 12 thanks for tuning in, man. Uh, thanks to your friend for suggesting the channel. Uh, I, I've said this many times on this stream. One of the best things you can do for the uh, broadcast is recommending it to a friend or telling somebody about the content. But thanks for, uh, thanks for checking it out. I'm glad you've enjoyed it. It's beautiful. That's really what it's all about. Wow, we shot down the, uh, the ion there. Okay, so the more shields we have up in the solar flare here, the better off we're going to be. We have our two shields, so our two shields is immediately rewarded here. Probably get one fire and maybe one system damage here. Okay, just a fire. That fire can spread, but only into the rocks room. We'll drop O2 here to boost the engine, get faster FTL charge, and uh, snuff out that fire. Woo! The Jukaroonies. Well, I'm going to say it's very likely we're going through a second solar flare here. Let's go for shields, though. There we go. Oh, yeah, for sure, Rain Hunter. Uh, if we did not have the two shields there, you're absolutely right. We go down to no shields and then the mini beam hits. It's not good. That is a pretty decent deal uh, this early on. Also brings us up to 12 missiles. That opens up some good options. Yeah, I think I'm going to take that deal. The resource gains a lot, and it brings us closer to that uh, sell 15 for 45 missile threshold or a lot of things. Nine scraps, not bad for the first sector, right? That's like a medium scrap reward on top. Done. Okay, Solar Flare's gonna go off, but we got adequate time to jump away. Okay, I'm assuming we're just cutting these three out. Um, I don't think we're diving here in Sector 1, so let's be... Be smart about our exit. Let's take this jump to hit the exit, probably. Oh, I got you, Silk Sorcerer. Well, either way, uh, glad you're here, man. That darn communication. Hey, North Pole, sit back, relax, enjoy. Uh, so, all right, I can't tell you uh, my last loss was, but we have two losses on this save. We won about 75% of our runs um, on the previous save without the balance mod. I imagine this save will probably be around there. I'd be very happy with 85% uh, uh, win rate. But no matter what, FTL always provides an adequate challenge. There's very few runs, or at least in my experience, that you uh, you get carried all the time. We've got a pretty solid uh, win streak going on right now, probably six or seven. At the end of the day, I just don't care about that stuff. It's all about the challenge. We've had some great challenging runs this save. I can definitely say if FTL did not still provide a challenge for me, I would not be playing it after all this time. Carries can't happen for sure, Cheesy Bot. We did have that. I think our last Federation run got that... Uh, Automated Reloader, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, they got Fire Drone Mini Beam, so we can drop down our shield here to load up the RD Beam. They also have a Repair Drone. Hmm. I 
Going to wait for the Arnie Beam to charge here. Let's take a look at a, a floofy kitty while we do that. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Yeah, I know. A tough life being a cat in this house. Tough. I know. I know, Jim. Right back to the action. Um, okay. Piloting went down first means the drone's heading that way. Let's just fire at shields again here. There we go. Ooh, 18 scrap and then 13 scrap, yes. That's what I'm talking about. We haven't seen a store yet, though we did not see seven jumps just because of the uh, pathing in the sector. Okay, we're going to go here now so that we have, um, I think, one, two, three is our option. If not, we could go one, two, three. We haven't seen uh, these three jumps, and that's it for this sector. Man, this ship's gonna hurt if I find it, but uh, delay's not great. The artillery as a system is very powerful, but the artillery uh, system's also extremely expensive to get online. So it's usually more of a late game consideration, though you can win a run just off of the uh, artillery in the right circumstance. Delay does get us an extra jump here, so maybe giving up nine um, isn't all bad, and we can get four more jumps. I hate to give up scrap when I can just get scrap, though. The problem is, what if that missile lands in our weapon, starts a double fire? the jumps we take here could just be empty as well. Czar69, thanks so much for the three consecutive years, dude. Thanks for the 36 consecutive months. If you'd like to be added to subscribe or holiday fame below the broadcast, it'd be my honor to add you. Thank you. You are amazing. Awesome, Zar. I'm going to add you right now, dude. Give me just a moment here. All right, Zar, you're in there, enshrined forever. Thank you so much for the three years, dude. Another Hall of Famer joins the ranks. Trigger 69. Thanks for the 40 consecutive months. Unbelievable. Thank you. What's up? Don't be bad. Uh, let's go ahead and fight the ship here. I'm hoping the Salado. Yeah. We're also hoping we don't get a weapon hit here soon. We can have our engines charge and we can use the artillery beam. So I got hope. Got Roman NG here. Okay, double fire in the med bay. We got a couple, a uh, couple ways we can go here. Now, there's one nice thing I just saw, and that's a, that's a Lado missile and not uh, not an Artemis. So we're dealing with one damage per shot instead of two as the Artemis. 
F117 Alex. I believe that's a welcome back to the Dapper Dude. Appreciate you. All right, we're going to cut the O2 here as well. We want to get this fire out of here. The ship has really great venting in some locations. Okay, the fire just poofed out there. We're going to close the doors, turn the O2 back on. We're going to see where this lands. Okay, they're really hating the med bay there. Cool, good for you. Hey, okay, we're not going to repair this right now because when that missile hits, it doesn't, uh, it's not hurting anything. Okay, Zoltan's shield's down. Worst part of the fight is definitely over. Unless... Hey, nice breach, bud. Pratfall, I want to say it's a welcome back, too. Appreciate you. What's up, Wazbeck? That's about right, Bottle Beer. Of course, you can't put an exact number on it, but FTL over the six years of content here on Twitch makes up about 20% of my total content. And let me tell you, this game has aged like a fine wine. It's the gift that keeps on giving. I think you're right, Oh No Eve. I don't think they did dodge any. Okay. Uh, I'm headed to the stress, so it's a chance to use uh, our crew in a blue option, which is what we want. Okay, I can lead you to your destination. Quest marker added to the map. That's good. That's where I was going to go anyways. Um, I don't think there's any way that's three jumps. Like, I can't go one, two, three and still make the exit. Probably not. I could definitely go... Um, Like one, two, three, four, maybe five. The dive, the dive is there for the extra jumps. I don't know. Yeah, I think that top right, it definitely looks like four more to me. Like, we could actually get the five jumps out of this. That's pretty juicy. That's two extra jumps than we'd be getting otherwise. Oh, does anybody else remember what happened last time we decided to dive early? I do. It's already been a pretty good scrap sector. I mean, three engines, two shields, or four engines, two shields should be more than enough to dive here in Sector 1. Actually, Rain Hunter, for the first three sectors, repairs are uh, two scrap, so it's only six scrap um, for the repair at this point. I like your thought process, though. It's a very uh, successful thought process for uh, figuring stuff out. The sector one, two, and three have two scrap repairs, and then four, five, four and five have three scrap repairs. Uh, six and seven have four scrap repairs. Indie bro, welcome to the Dapper Man. Appreciate you. That's a good question, Qwerty guy. Balance mod does not make long range scanners uh, less likely to appear in the store, but it does make them cost forty five scrap. Is uh, 15 more than they cost in the base game. Okay, I, I mean, this dive looks so good to me. And if not, we can still get four jumps here. 
We can also take this one and then reconsider our position uh, heading up this way. So let's scoot on over. Oh, man. Um, this is 25% chance to lose a crew. So we're going to scrap the debris here. That was tough. I didn't want to do that, but it was the right choice. There's no crew blue option. Where's it at? Brian Tay, welcome to the Damper as well. Thank you all for that love and support. Appreciate you. Hey man, just this jump being this intervene and defend the outpost, this is a guaranteed double reward. Uh, ones where the pirates attacking, attacking a ship is a, uh, you know, a chance at a double reward. Intervening to defend the outpost is a guarantee. crew from it cynical that's a good good uh good option can be a ghost town i think it's only 25 percent chance to get a crew there as well if i remember right 25 percent chance to get 25 percent chance to lose and there's like a nothing option as well and if you lose your crew there uh the clone bay will not save you on that event it's some virus thing icky bad 100 scrap in the hole though that's pretty good oh baby Remember when we took that uh, that missile deal earlier in the sector? Because I said, man, that'd be nice if we had 15 for 45. I, I think this is the single best uh, event you can get in Sector 1, because nothing else gives even close to 45 scrap uh, for one event if you're not you know, getting something to sell later. Boom. Yeah, and we're going to get all of them. This is beauty. No store, though. Mr. Nice Guy, thanks for the great 14 months. Appreciate you. Yeah, we are pretty rich right now. Um, well, you know, honestly, if I could pick up a defense drone here, I would maybe consider trying the artillery beam uh, challenge. We haven't seen any blue options yet. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Ashley, for resetting that. Where you set the top cheer at the start of each week. Thank you all for your generosity. You're all too damn kind. So I know how much I appreciate being uh, able to do this. A really amazing experience, night in, night out, and I still very much uh, feel rewarded and enjoy doing this after all this time. Nothing but love. Death and Karna, welcome to the damper. And Frax Reaper, thanks for the 12 consecutive months. A great year. Um, well, okay, let's buy at least a power bar. I don't, I don't think that's too crazy, right? Come on, store. Oh! I think this ship might try to run from me. I sure do, uh, Slick Sorcerer. You can do exclaim schedule on the channel at any time, or Monday through Friday, starting around 7 p.m. Pacific. And we do take our schedule quite seriously around here. Of course, uh, you know, life happens, and sometimes you have to take days off. But there, I try to keep them few and far between. Take two vacations yearly, uh, usually around AGDQ and SGDQ, and pass that. Try to stick to schedule, which is why we have uh, 1,637, or no, sorry, 1,641 shows over the past. Uh, six years here. I started my career with the two-year livestream challenge where we did 731 days in a row. But I'm proud to say we've kept mostly to schedule uh, for the past six years. It's a huge part of my routine and part of how I express myself as well. So being here is uh, very important to me. I look forward to and appreciate this time. I've been JO5. Thanks for the five months. One more month, man. Human eyes will be done. And Lone Wolfen, uh, thanks for the 31 consecutive months. Appreciate you. 
Um, okay, I think we should upgrade here so we jump into like an ion storm and have to go before. It's not great. Let's go ahead and get to four engines here. And I'll buy one more power bar. Yeah, okay, this is good. So we have the option to like do this with the burst laser, or we can do do something like this too, right? We got we got some options here. And we got 75 scrap left in the hold, so that's cool. And we have a jump left. Okay, they're teleporting here and they have two lasers. Yes, the artillery beam does pierce all shields, all of them. It will not pierce a Zoltan shield, I guess, to clarify, but uh, any normal blue shield will be uh, will be pierced. Man, we didn't get a single event here. Not a one where we use a blue option for our crew. And I honestly think we might have the bankroll to try to go for the artillery beam only run. Yeah, it really depends on what shows up at that store though. I'm not I'm not going for that for uh, for just anything. The two achievements we can get to unlock the Federation B are Diplomatic Immunity. While using the Federation Cruiser, use your crew in four special blue event choices by Sector 5. This should be pretty straightforward, but you have to find, like, the uh, distress events and stuff like that where you can use your crew. Get to Sector 5 in the Federation Cruiser without upgrading your weapon system. Hey, nice our attacks. I can be part of uh, your routine for so long. Pretty crazy to think about, you know, people that uh, watching the, you know, since the two-year live stream challenge could have, you know, been starting high school and graduated high school from now could have uh, graduated college. So many uh, wonderful stories and experiences shared together uh, over the time we've had. Riley Killer, thanks for the 45 consecutive months. Appreciate you. Okay, they shouldn't reboard here since they're, uh, they've already sacrificed two people. But I think it'd be somewhat foolhardy not to uh, go for the training here. Because I think there's an actual chance that we go for the artillery beam uh, achievement here. So it probably requires to pick up um, a defense drone for sure. Weapon train's not gonna happen. Let's just do this real quick. Mafia Penguin 94. Welcome back to the Dapper, sir. Appreciate you. All right, guys, you'll have to excuse me uh, here for just a minute. I'm just gonna stand up and stretch real fast. I'll leave you guys with uh, a kitty here. The toughest of lives for my cats. I'll see you guys in just a second.
All right, thanks so much for your patience during the intermission. I really appreciate it. Look at that. During the uh, break there, Neo, thanks so much for the 20 consecutive months, man. Uh, glad I could stream after work, dude, and flip casing. Thanks for the 15 consecutive months. You're all just wonderful. How's the training going? We're up to 40% here. That's great. Shield training, not quite. We're going to drop our engines here and just snag that real quick. We're over uh, halfway through the second half of training. There is a way we can steal some weapon training here, and I'll demonstrate it once. Just once. This is very time consuming. So what you can do is fire your laser here, and after you see one fire, you can depower the weapon, which stops it from firing the remainder, but gives you one weapon training. You can repower it again and repeat. So if you really must steal some weapon training, you can uh, force it that way with more more lasers by firing, uh, firing them only partially. Right now, defense is my main concern. Don one uh, zero one two eight. Thanks for the thirteen consecutive months. 
Glad you could be here today. Control to lead. Thanks so much for the three consecutive years, dude. Another Hall of Famer joins the ranks. I'll add you right now to that subscriber Hall of Fame below the broadcast. Do it. All right, Control Alt Elite, you're in there, enshrined forever. Appreciate you, dude. No side effects. Thanks for the great 32 months, man. Appreciate you. Did we get there? Almost. All right. Now we're going to power our engines, and now we're going to kill the ship. FTL delayed though. Okay, so we, okay, we got that. You know they could uh, jump pretty quick. We spent a long time just fighting, but no, we got this. We got them. All right, and now it's dive time. I don't think I want to spend any of this 87 scraps. We could, uh, you know, get something. Uh, in the next sector, like that drone control we're searching for. Hey, I like that idea, Artax. Oh boy, that's a ship, isn't it? Okay, well, we're going to drop O2 in the artillery beam here, and we're going to really hope we get a hit with the burst laser. Sector 1's not done yet. Four, uh, four engines with full training here, though, uh, does give me some hope. Okay, nice. I mean, this can still get sketchy, but, uh, but right about when this thing gets fully loaded, we should be getting out of here. Dude, such good dodges there. Okay, piloting went down. That's really bad. Okay, this is enough for right now. I mean, this is still sketchy. Let's get our O2 back online, though. No, not yet. Get in there. Okay, flax back down. Good. Okay, now that that's down, let's boost, boost over here. There we go. And out before the second ASB. Uh, it felt a lot more dire than it actually was. Hey, cool twins, we got about 200 scrap, cool. I believe it. The uh, cell 15 missiles for 45 scrap event really paid off there. Really good dive, all things considered. Definitely worth the extra jumps. We got double fleet pursuit and two rebels for uh, our diving there, I think. Does not, Lord Solar Steve? That's a good question. The artillery beam uh, does not have a manable console. You can actually see the physical console in rooms that can have uh, system bonuses. Piloting, engines, he's on the console. Uh, weapons here, and shielding. There's no console for the artillery beam. No, it's often a place that I, I park a crew, because it's good to have a repair there if you have extra crew. Ooh. 
Ooh, immediate quest marker or two. Okay. Let's take a look at the rest of the sector, though. What's what's happening here over at the exit? Yeah, we got plenty of room to move around, though. I think maybe a potential dive going down uh, this way. Oh, yeah, I never asked you. How'd you enjoy the uh, Death Road to Canada update, the Prixie? So I did release a very sizable uh, game update. How was it? We've been, uh... No. Here we go. You got a Puppers? Nice. Oh, cool. I'm glad I looked here. This jump actually uh, sees this one, too. So we're going to take this jump for the value, uh, being able to see this jump and this jump um, for clarity on how which way we're going to go through here. Okay, what's happening, Pirate Fighter? Whoa, you got yourself a manis there. Look, Ma, no hands. Damn, that's a chunky manis. Look at him chunking him. Okay, he died on the way back. Let's actually see what's going on here. What's uh what's happening? Oh, double NG, okay, well. That's fair. I don't think they'll board again since we killed the manis, so it's possible, right? Okay, they're not. Just wait for the artillery beam to fire here. It'll make the burst laser more effective. Engines are always a pain to fire uh, one again, so they can't repair two. Okay, they're going to start the repairs here, so let's just slam it. Not good enough. You sent that crazy manis onto my ship. That was the end of discussions. Dark Darius, thanks for the wonderful 10 months. Much love. Ooh. Uh, here we are again with the intervene and defend the outpost. I'm gonna do it. Okay, defense drone and anti-combat. Nice. Let's take a peek. Ah, uh, triple humanitis. We're going to fire the shield room here, because if we do get a fire off for our laser, it's most likely to spread in the, uh, the four square room. Hey, cool, Marluxer. I don't believe I knew that. Okay, there's that fire, but of course they move down now. When you fire the artillery beam, it gives a training point in weapons. I don't think I knew that. <laughs> now there's not a fire. Those guys bail. They're like, we're out of here. Not today. Fifteen and eighteen. Wow. And hey, look, it's our first store we've seen this game. I'm actually kind of hoping for drone control defense drone here. Uh, no such thing, though. The question I got to ask myself is... Uh, have I used my crew in any blue options so far this game? I don't think so. Not a one. Mm -hmm. 
no blue options have been presented here yet. And so I think it's unlikely we get four, but you know you could get four in one sector. You could. <sighs> okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy the burst laser one. But we're gonna hold off just a second on getting it online. Well, four lasers would be better. Use your current four special blue event choice by Sector 5, or get to Sector 5 in the Federation Cruiser without upgrading your weapon system. You know, I think I could do that. Uh, I'd really prefer to have uh, a defense drone, but you know, if I rush level 3, level 4 artillery beam, just getting to Sector 5 by itself is definitely possible. It's a matter, could we win the run after that? We've certainly gotten enough scrap to try. And I'd like to get my Federation B unlocked uh, this run, so we don't have to do a third Federation A run. I don't think we had any triplicate runs on the previous save, though. It'll probably happen at some point. We still got quite a bit of time to get those four options, though. I mean, really. Upgrading weapons this very second is certainly the best option I have available. That is true, Alanorn. There is a green beam through Sector 5. I guess uh, one question I should answer for myself right now. Is it by Sector 5? Does that mean before you leave Sector 5 or before you reach Sector 5 on Diplomatic Community? Because if we have three more full sectors to go through uh, and we know they're all green, uh, it's, it's likely to get some blue options. No, upgrading the beam does not count against the achievement, Calvary. So we could invest into the beam right now and uh, get it up and running. Before leaving Sector 5. Okay, I'm just going to take a couple more jumps here. Uh, what if there's another store that presents itself here and we can get something a little better? Man, diving certainly is a temptation here. Well, I'm going to reject your offer. I'm not paying this guy 20 scrap. Not a chance. Manus repairing here is cool. If we get like a good double fire with the laser, there's potential for crew kill <laughs> on this ship. All right, Manus is out of there now. Or soon at 20 HP, I think. Yeah, he's gone. Um, if I fire three more into him, he's definitely going to leave the room. Yeah, let's go for that. How much HP does he have? 18. Three more brings him down too far. We got one, two, three, four, five systems left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, let's see what he does. I'm gonna fire one laser at him. Fire spread or nah? Oh, yes.
Oh, don't fire that, though. I think we got ourselves a crew kill here. Yeah, nice. Well, you know, not as nice that they have level 2 O2. Since the O2 is on fire, though, um, uh, it's not going to spread all the way through the ship. I think we're going to end up being safe here, because fire drains the O2 out. Wow, that fire's spreading fast, though. Don't burn them out like that. You know, or do. Oh, no. Okay, him getting the doors uh, there is actually probably a good thing. Hold it, man. Hold it. You can do it. Good job, humanitis. Yeah, okay. Double fire is actually not bad there. Uh, yeah, yeah. There we go. You did a good humanitis. High five, Matt. Hey, that's my name. High five, buddy. Fellow Matt. You did a good. I got humanitis, too. Way to man those doors for me, bud. Fulfill your destiny. Commissar Corgi, thanks for the 31 consecutive months. Appreciate you. Look at that. Defense drone, right here. It's happening. System repair. Okay. FL Panda, thanks for the great 10 months. Thanks for that prime love. You guys are amazing. <laughs> wow. Um. You know, even if they were selling a defense drone here, I would totally buy it and trade it out, but. Uh, I don't know. Heavy laser backup battery sure seems like a power play right here. Get to Sector 5 in the Federation without upgrading the system. That's actually not that bad. You know, I think we might be able to pull this off this run if we go into uh, Artillery Beam. Here, because the Burst Laser 2 should still be effective in Sector 3, especially if we have a decent firing Artillery Beam. It's only two more sectors. Or, you know, right now we could buy the heavy laser and go uh, burst laser 2, burst laser 1, heavy laser. Uh, <laughs> going into sector 3, that'd be pretty nice too. And very plausible to pull off. Oh yes, Quiller. We could leave uh, and then come back to have a different store allowed or a different drone in the store. Uh, you're absolutely right about that. I consider that a bit of an exploit. Uh, uh, I prefer to take what the store gives me for my own personal rules. I have nothing against using uh, things like that in the game. However, P you want to play the game and it's enjoyable for you is good. But I think it's a little bit too cheesy for uh, my purposes and what I want to do. If you really need a specific drone, you can uh, save an exit and come back, and it'll have a different drone available with the drone control. Fair play. Shh, 
Schmatty boy. Thanks for the nine consecutive months. Appreciate you. Hot dang it. This is a tough choice. If I go for the artillery here and I get burned for it, you know, I'm going to feel like a real goof. But at the same time, I really do feel like it's reasonable to get, you know, burst laser 2 level 3 artillery beam running, and that's not too shabby. That's okay for the next two uh, sectors. Why is, why is my life so hard right now? My life is almost as hard as this kitty here. Always getting pet and stuff while it's trying to sleep. Oh no. But not quite as hard as that. Almost. Okay, thank you, the Brixie. feel bad about it. This this lasts for the rest of the run, and uh, while we're not picking up the backup battery or the heavy laser, we've invested our scrap into the ship, and we're pretty close to being able to afford uh, three shields just going into Sector 3 with level 3 artillery beams. So let's, let's make sure we get the Federation B unlocked this run, and I think win our run, too. That was a long stall there to think, uh, think through, but... I think this gives me a, a fighting chance for the rest of the run. It's an unorthodox strategy, but it can work. And after two more sectors, we can bring this burst laser one online. We can also potentially pick up another weapon in sector three, sector four to load in it when we're hitting sector five. Okay, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. And then uh, dive to there. Uh, once again, we're getting a really uh, clean slide out of the X, and then we're gonna be able to pick up all these jumps on our way to our dive. The absent one. Thanks for the great 43 months, sir. Wow. Okay, let's check it out. We know our X is going to be a guaranteed good or neutral event, so let's see what happens. What's your specialty? Oh, my sensors for only 15 scrap. Well, I'm broke. I did check out my new artillery beam, though. Styling, huh? Okay, well... My plan's not going to work the way I wanted to, so we can't get this jump. That's okay. We're going to get uh, four more still. One, two, three, four, exit. Five fuel for six drone parts. Well, no. Oh, my Gertie. Huh. This is giving me some pause here. Maybe I should just jump to the exit and not dive if I... I know the store is basically a dead jump for me. I already spent all my scrap because uh, we decided on the artillery beam uh, setup.
yeah, I think maybe it's just time to go. We're going to get two nebula, but the nebula, let's just say, you know, on average, it's at least one of those going to be an empty jump. And even if we do get the uh, search the wreckage event, we don't have clone bay or level two piloting. The voice. Thanks for the great 19 months, sir. You know, what, let's just take the exit. We already bought the upgrade that we intended to. Uh, I think we're in a pretty decent spot and we can save for three shields now. Well, we're going to go civilian sector because we can still get the other achievement too. I mean, the second we knock out that, we can also upgrade our ship. What the? What's going on over here? What is this sector? What does it mean? Once again, we don't want the store right now, that's for sure. What we want right now is three shields and then just engine upgrades overall. Stores are for repairs. This is a crazy sector layout. Stress, I do like that. Let's check it out. Twenty-eight scrap is payment. It's not bad. Maybe we head back over here to get some uh, fuel. Let's do that. We're gonna go here and then here uh, to this jump. Okay, where did they board at? Okay, they board on this side. So we're gonna open the doors here. We're gonna shut the med bay. Is there a guy in the shield room too? Good for him. He'll be in the med bay soon. Congratulations, tall dude. Getting your first hard mode uh, victory. That's an absolutely amazing feeling. Super happy for you. False start. Welcome to the Dapper Man. Look at all that love. Okay, well, if we could buy uh, drone control, there it would be. 
even with selling the uh, the burst laser, we can't quite get to the the drones. You know, that's okay. We are not going to commit to uh, drones this time. I think backup battery is going to be a great purchase here, though, because that gives us um, cheap power to work with. Fuel's definitely a buy here. Let's go ahead and do that. That's that's about it, though. Okay, this ship technically handy. Let's have the NG tank here for a moment. That does hurt. No med bay, no clone bay, though. Uh, Pre-direct, the artillery is an all-shield piercing laser that fires uh, now once every 30 seconds. This level 3 for us. Okay, so this has to be an ion bomb, right? If this hits shields, that'd be really bad. Okay, did not hit shields. Cool. Miss Stram, thanks for the wonderful seven months. You keep watching, I'll keep streaming. We have ourselves a deal. Hey, pausing is never bad advice in FTO. Ever. of buttons. Thanks for the wonderful 11 months. Yes, learning to pause enough, especially when you first start playing FTL, I agree, is a really uh, tough challenge. It's tough. Even uh, from like my play, I uh, went from playing pause to playing no pause, getting back into playing pause. There's actually quite a bit of transition. I'm talking several months of learning, relearning pausing habits and stuff like that. It's definitely hard to pause too much in FTL. Weapons are down nice. No, uh, no ion there. Ion bomb to the shields again would have been devastating with this beam too. Potentially run ending. Probably not though, we'd go all in on engines. Okay, there's a store. Um, just not a great time getting the exit. We're definitely gonna take two more jumps before the store. Uh, maybe slide in some more fuel, but more likely we want to just get our third shield bubble here. Then we just have to get through one more sector without upgrading our weapons, and we're there. What's your specialty? Door subsystem. Get out of here. Get out of here. Paying for no doors right now. Crazy. That's quite a formidable uh, offense they have there.
I mean, Scout's okay, but it's paying 15 scrap or something. I guess we hit their weapons once. We're good here. So let's uh, let's fight this ship. We'll drop or load up the backup battery when they fire their volley. It's a lot of lasers, but if we do one damage, you know, one of the two weapons is down, right? So it's not so bad. And we have full training, 40% dodge. 25%, yikes. Okay, that's down now. Is he going to get that back in time? Maybe. I'm actually going to slide him over to help. You know, it's the thought that counts. Once the artillery beam goes off here, all hell's going to break loose. Okay, nice. Pilot just left his room. Nice. That's definitely the one we want down. Oh, yeah, toggle it. That's what I'm talking about. Double fire in the engine room. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to take surrender from you. No thanks. Well, that was a pretty tough fight, but 25 scrap is good. Now, we know this is safe, so let's go here. Man. There's a heavy laser one again. I'm not sure we can turn it down this time, though it does delay our third shield. We're only in Sector 3, not Sector 4. We could also take the two nebula jumps before coming back to the store. That's an option. We don't have to buy right now. The nice thing about picking up the heavy laser here is then for a pretty small scrap investment overall. Uh, let's see here. Uh, 110 plus power, we can have six projectiles with the heavy laser, so seven damage. Uh, you know, then we're hacking and having the level four artillery beam away from being pretty flagship ready. You know, how many more jumps are we getting uh, this sector? One, two, uh, three, four, five jumps. Yeah. Uh, Sunday Potato, my goal is always first and foremost to win the win the run. However, uh, my current goal is to unlock the Federation B. Uh, so I, I want to do both, get my achievement and, and win the game. We had a really incredible scrap start to this run, so we're going for the Artillery Mastery uh, achievement. Get to Sector 5 in the Federation Cruiser without upgrading your weapon system. So we have one more sector to go after this. We can also get, uh, while using the Federation Cruiser, use your crew in four special blue event choices by Sector 5. We just haven't seen even one yet, which is why we opted for the Artillery. But the first goal is always to win. I won't make a decision uh, thinking it'll kill my run just to get an achievement, if that makes sense. So I know almost every run in the Federation Cruiser, I could get to Sector 5 without upgrading the weapon system. But could I get from Sector 5 to Sector 8? 
not without a great start like this. Nautical Turtle, thanks for the great six months, man. Congratulations on being humanitis free. Um, I'm going to take these two jumps and then go back to the store and buy fuel and probably a repair in that heavy laser. Let's see. Well, let's fight it. Hmm. Okay, right now there's just not, uh... There's just not time. We gotta go for the, the weapons here. This is a nasty ship. I'm gonna boost up my second second one there. We can at least keep two shields stable, right? So if I disable, uh, yeah, that one. Okay, okay. Took a little splash there. It's no bigs. O2's still on. Okay, I'm gonna drop the engine now and uh, load this up. Go get the repair on this real fast. Kilo Ron One, thanks for the uh, 500 bits, dude. Appreciate your generosity, man. Glad you're uh, glad the stream's a good place for you to hang out. It's wonderful to hear. Sit back, relax, enjoy. Ooh, okay. My goal here is definitely still the weapons, you know. Okay, battery's gonna run out here, so we're gonna fire here. Okay, we did hit again, that's good. That means we're not gonna get the burst leader 2 back up right now. Um, we're gonna drop this to bring this online. Then I'm gonna toggle into level 2 artillery. Okay, we got a small moment here where we can boost into O2 in that. Okay, about five seconds, and then we have to pull it back out. Put that in here. That shield bubble back online. In fact, let's get him over here and get that back online even faster. Okay, we hit weapons there again, which is very useful uh, for us. That means on the next artillery beam volley, they're likely going to die. Let's make this happen as quickly as possible. You know, five lasers right now would have made things a lot less complicated, but we found a solution. Don't say. Well, I got faith in one burst laser volley hitting here. It's gonna happen for us. All right, O2s for closers. It was much more likely there, I feel, for to do three damage than two, but it decided on two, and I can't complain about that. Tip to follow and help him. Okay, okay. Okay, they got hacking coming out. Okay, they hacked the artillery beam. That's okay, I guess. Please hit. Okay, good. With one damage there, we are, uh, we removed their potential to damage us. To sum up the balance mod in short, uh, Mr. McPippins, uh, it's a mod that, uh, generally balances FTL, changes some of the, uh, ship loadouts and starts, uh, changes some events to be fair for the player, but also increases the cost of some really, uh, you know, powerful things like hacking and cloaking. I 
the goal being to minimize some of the early game RNG and make some of the stuff that is really kind of more game breaking a little harder to access. You can see a full change log on the uh, link just posted by Dark Twins, though. It's quite expansive. This is my first full full playthrough of the balance mod. Really, the only way to tell if uh, you know how I enjoy the balance mod is going to be doing something like this, doing a complete save through. You're not going to feel the impact of different stuff on uh, one run or even one save, but we definitely had some uh, much varied weapon loadouts because of the balance mod, and I appreciate that. The tough part is here we can just buy three shields. But three shields does not leave us an offense for later, and this heavy laser is awesome. So we're going to pick this up. We're going to buy the five fuel litter here. We're going to buy a small repair. And then we're going to save for three shields. Attack the pirates. Well, we know this is only a two crew. I mean, who's, who's in there? Okay, they got ninja, so fire death is extremely unlikely. Good dodge. That's a pretty decent deal, right? Um, the four fuel's nice for sure, since we're only at five right now. Okay, I'm gonna let you go here. Unless this was a double reward. I don't think this is why they ambushed us, right? If you had the cost of four fuel into uh, into this jump, it's kind of a no-brainer. We got we gotta take that. It's good value right now. Good value jump. I don't think that one was a double. I think they ambushed us there. Okay, they're trying to get away. Not great. Boarding drone incoming. Do your thing, artillery beam. Um, we're going to open the doors here to stop that for a moment. We're going to go like this. Over here. Thank you, burst laser one or two. Excuse me. You did a good. Okay, the O2s reach critical there. Mm -hmm. Wow, please be a good artillery beam here. Okay, enemy FTL delay, that's what we wanted to see. Okay, sensors went down, fine. We know we've already absorbed the missile here, so we might as well go for the uh, the killing blow. Oh, don't, don't do that. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Okay, well, we have to jump away here first. Because if they, if they jump away, nothing good's going to happen with them. Probably double fleet pursuit. All right. Going to let that one go. It's been a great sector. 
Oh, let's attack the rebels here. Get right back in it to win it, shall we? All right, let's um med bay up here. You know, fix some stuff around the ship. Okay, it is a small bomb. We gotta keep an eye on HP here, then. Oh, no, not the sensors. Anything but the sensors. Think of the children. I guess they don't actually hit us here, so it's not so bad. Oh, he would. He would. He gets a damage in there, too, maybe? Smooth player. Steal the city supplies here. Oh, it's just vaccinations. Okay. But we're halfway to Shields 3 here. We need to get through one more sector without upgrading our weapon system uh, in order to unlock the Federation B. I'd really hope to win our run after that, but if we don't, that's okay. I certainly intend on winning. It's been a, been a weird sector. Let's go engine controlled here. It was the best chance of surviving, I think. Lots of good blue options for our NG here as well. A lot of NG ships like to go very uh, heavy defensive uh, drones as well, which I think benefits uh, our artillery beam style pretty well. Captain Boo, thanks for the great 32 months, man. Appreciate you. All right, we're an hour and 37 minutes into the broadcast here. We're going to take a short break. Thank you, everyone, for uh, coming out to watch today. Really appreciate you. We'll be back in just a few short minutes. Leave you guys with this cutie sleeping kitty. Be back soon.
All right, we have returned. Thanks to your patience during that short intermission. I do appreciate it. Um, Stock of the refueling platform. Okay, well, that did happen. It's a lot of lays. Is it better for him to be on shields or go repair our engines? This is a this is a fight that could get really scary. Yeah, even if you add pass, we can still add you, Ellen. Appreciate you, dude. Pickle dude, three twenty-five. Thanks for the eleven consecutive months. You're amazing. Um, you know what? Early on, this isn't going to be so bad. Let's just run over here. Maybe this uh, gives a small disadvantage for the first volley, but definitely not for volley two or three. Are going to be better off not having engines. Okay, that's good enough. Good volley from us, too. Okay. See, now we're in a weird spot where they have uh, the chain laser firing every seven seconds, along with their, uh, their laser firing every uh, what, 10. So 40% dodge is pretty clutch here, though it's about to run out. Nice, there it is. Okay, now we're back to safe levels. My crew can totally do 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off of breathing. We train on that all the time. But luckily, uh, we hit the weapons there, so didn't need to. Artemisia of Korea, thanks for the nine consecutive months. And thanks for tuning in. Best of uh, best of luck with your new journey. Ooh, okay, okay, well. Yes, I do want that high fuel reward from the uh, fueling platform. I think we got that same fight and reward if we didn't dock with the fueling platform, but my need for fuel kind of um, outweighed my desire for not taking whole damage there. Okay, we're getting very close to those three shields. Oh, well, you know, bless you, man. As soon as you arrive, a small man of ship detaches from a wreck and jumps away. You must have interrupted their salvage operation because you find a weapon ready to be installed. That's a really nice event to find. Man, we got a store here, too, but I think this store is like a repair store. I <laughs> don't go there yet. Hey, me, Beta. Okay, this is exciting, not for right now, but before we hit Sector 5, we at least have something to look forward to to spend our scrap on. I think our immediate goal uh, definitely has to be getting three shields, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just gotta survive here. You know, just to repair at that store is pretty nice, though. A nice repair before three shields wouldn't be terrible. What's going to be at that store that's going to stop us from buying three shields early? Uh, long range scanners, probably.
Auto reloader is good for the artillery beam too, but I don't even know if I'd buy automated reloader right now. What I'm thinking is, there, is there a reason I should take another jump? Um, I could sell a burst laser for now, but there's no guarantee we get another weapon. So I think we have to hold on to it until we at least see something to trade out. I don't want to trade resources right now, so I probably wouldn't sell it. Our offense is totally sorted. We just had to get our defense figured out. Okay, I'm going to hit this jump before the store. One more before the store here. That's it. Okay, and big ass missile, big ass laser. Pirate bomber. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to pay their toll. We can get it to 40% dodge here. The laser is actually a non factor for now. This is going to hurt, though. We can only hope that we disable the missile launcher here while the artillery works. Okay, I think that's a whole missile, which we're actually kind of weak to. A Raven, thanks for the 37 consecutive months. You're awesome. Come on, 40. Okay. Come on, you can do it, bud. That's it. No, I'm not taking your surrender. Doesn't it, though, a Raven? Sometimes I click the notification just to make the head go away. Husuke, thanks for the wonderful year. This artillery beam's definitely going to do it, though. This is it. That was a scary situation. Now, he could have jumped away, but, you know, nonetheless. Double the stress. Wow. Okay. Oh, there's that reloader, dude. Okay, reloader does stack with the um, artillery and everything else, but there's no way we could buy this right now. For 10%, it's just not worth it. What does make sense to do right now is repair up to right about here. Fire sells about three fuel. 22 sounds like a good number to me. I don't even really care what's here. We're headed up this way. Our goal is to survive this sector uh, and hopefully have uh, you know a, a decent net gain. And if we can pull that off, uh, we have a weapon system to upgrade into next sector. Three shields and whatever leftover scrap is there is gonna work, I hope. We sure are, Raven. Right now we're trying to get the second of three achievements uh, on this ship. We're trying to get Artillery Master here to unlock the Federation B, since we need two out of three to do that. It's been an interesting run, uh, very lucrative uh, and very bumpy recently. I think we've done a good job of uh, balancing through. We got this free Burst Laser 1 we just found, which rounds out our overall offense. Our next direct goal is to build our defense up to three shields and then start building our weapon system back up. But once we get to Burst Laser 2, Burst Laser 1, Heavy Laser, we're in a pretty good spot with a uh, level 3 artillery beam. Bruce and X, welcome back to the Dapper. And Derek Ryan, so welcome back to so much love tonight. Appreciate you guys. Okay, there's a uh, distress beacon number one. I don't really care about uh, the other achievement at this point, since we know we're going to get the third achievement. But we do have the NG for that one, which is a free high scrap reward. Oh, man. We're going to save the NG here. Yeah, that's what I thought. But guess what? Welcome back aboard, new Malifor.
you're not trained in piloting, but you can pilot this $3 billion vessel anyways. We're humanitis free! Miracles do happen. We also have enough to buy three shields right here, which is exactly what we're gonna do. Well, you know what? We know we're going to need fuel. Now that we have three shields and the artillery beam, and uh, after this sector, we have the green light to uh, invest in weapons. Only 25 scrap to bring on the heavy laser. Let's just go ahead and buy six for 12 here. This is an investment in the future, but no matter where we buy fuel at, it's going to cost more than that deal. Okay, we're going to go here and probably up back this way or something but this jump is the keystone it shows every other jump that we'll have access to so let's hit it up that's right a raven you gotta watch that ted can't let him smoke near the uh the med bay the fire hazard sci-fi sci 77 thanks for the 10 consecutive months you're amazing all right, no other distress beacons uh, in the vicinity. Hey. That's kind of tough. It'd be a lot tougher if we didn't have um, three shields. Pretty gnarly defensive ship, huh? So this ship can hit me, but with the fully leveled uh, shield, it's going to be tough for him. Wait, we'll wait to fire a burst later there until he's on uh, two. This uh, gives us a good shot with the artillery beam here, I think. Yeah, this one should be in. Yeah, so you have fires underneath the super shield, which is what you want. I wonder if this guy's going to try to get away or not. Hold your breath, crew. The battery's gone. That's right, I like to run my O2s so with an assortment of batteries. Keeps the crew in check, knowing they have to change the batteries constantly or they die. Hey, Derek Rar, glad you can make it back, man. Uh, enjoy that lurk, sir. It's wonderful to see you again. Hey, speaking of lurkers, let's do our lurker roll call early tonight. If you're lurking in the channel, I mean you're an active watcher but not an active chatter, you have the capability to and you want to, now's your time to post some of your favorite emotes in the chat. Lurks are the lifeblood of all of Twitch TV, but none more so than my own channel. Appreciate you guys so much. No matter what you may do, why you lurk, doing homework, chilling after work, just chillaxing, playing games, you're amazing. Thank you. Lurkers number one. Always have been, always will be. You would have told me at the start of my career that uh, most people would use me for background noise. So I told you you're crazy. I could not be happier with the way things turned out. Thank you for the wonderful lurks and chill times. Okay, enemy FTL got delayed there, which is probably good because I don't think we're getting... Uh... Yeah? We need that already to be timed out uh, not in our favor here. Okay, enemy FTL delayed again was good, I think. Okay, we're waiting here. Oh, jump imminent, get out of here. 
Okay, well, we're gonna jump away instead because we know what happens next. They double our fleet pursuit and we're sad. Dear God, it's a pulse up. Um, okay. Hey, Bliss Nine, really nice to see you. Gonna direct you to that blurb that was just posted in chat, but, uh. After three years or so of streaming pinball, I decided it's not really a sustainable uh, thing I can do on my channel. I still have the capability to do so. Don't expect it to be a regular part of the content. Mr. Ripcord, thanks for the 100 bits, dude. Appreciate your generosity, man. Okay, I get it. I get it. This is going to hurt real bad. I get it. Pulsar is so bad here. I mean, their shields going down is good there too, but now our weapons are down. Artillery is still going. Is this the end? Don't let it be the end. Oh, drones are still up. Okay. Oh, all their stuff's still up. Wow, what a ship. Hey, you know what? That's uh, that's something that can't happen. I was not expecting that Pulsar ship, but that's definitely the one. I guess having a regular offense uh, would have been better there, but I have no regrets on the decisions we made. We bought our third shield, uh, I thought, in time. No achievement this time around. What a pulsar. Stats. Hey, man. You showed me. Not a bummer at all. It's all part of playing roguelikes. I find uh, losing gracefully is one of the most important parts of playing roguelikes. If you don't do so, you fail to take the time to look back on your run and improve yourself. In hindsight, if we weren't going for the achievement and we just went for a weapon system, that, uh, that ship, we probably would have won that fight. I think so. But how can you know that ship is laying around the corner? That's one of the worst case scenarios. Only thing that's like a little bit worse than that would be like combat one, combat two, hacking inside of an asteroid field. We'll get it next time. I really think we just had an unfortunate start with getting uh, blue crew events. Surely uh, on the third run we'll get four blue crew events for Sector 5. Well, there's always next run, but that uh, next run is not today. Slide a few things over here. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I mean, um, also in hindsight, we could have not bought the uh, burst laser one at that first store. I kind of wavered in between two strats there. So maybe we could have used that 50 scrap on the burst laser to get uh, shield sooner. That certainly would have helped the scrap situation overall. We had that really bumpy sector because of two shields. We'd had three shields closer to the start of uh, sector four. Well, maybe we would have saved 12 damage or so. Even then, I don't know if it saves me in that Pulsar. We'll never know.
Give me just a moment where I swap everything up here. It sure can meet beta. That's uh, this the very truth. A good attitude can be its own reward. And the more I've played uh, roguelikes and FTL, especially, uh, the more you play, the less losing hurts because the more you understand your loss and you understand the circumstances around it. All right, we're going to be uh, playing Monolith, which is another roguelike, though definitely a much more action-packed one in terms of dodging and whatnot. We'll see how we do. Been a rough couple days, but sometimes being a little under the weather can do some amazing things for your dodging. I've found I mean, some of the craziest stuff I've done playing video games, boshing and whatnot, done sick with a fever or whatever. Sometimes you just gotta, you just gotta let go and let your little thingies do the work, you know? Psy Control, welcome to Dapper in Grand. Thanks for the 11 consecutive months. One away from that year in Sinvicta. Thanks for the 44 consecutive months, man. Appreciate you. You know what I mean, baby? You're right. This ghost, he needs, he needs a new hat. All right. Give me a ghostly squeal. Okay, let's go to the shop here. Okay, we got 280,000. Uh, let's just take our first run. Let's go ahead and buy a care package here. Let's go with 15% damage, two extra health, and you know, some other stuff. Some max ammo, 40%, I think. I know, Sinvicta. Time really flies, man. Okay, so there's only really two main stats in this game, damage and max ammo. more max ammo. Whoa! Okay. Okay, we got icicle mages here. Careful. When you see these icicle mages, you really want to avoid the uh, the ceiling. Yikes. He got me. He got me. Okay, here's our upgrade room for this floor. Extra health and debris room replacing weapons. Let's go. Electricity merely slows you down. You know what I'm going to do after this run? I'm actually going to turn all the weapon types uh, on and all of the um, weapon modifiers on. So I'm just going to mix things up a little bit. We're seeing a lot of the uh, same stuff, which is nice because it's OP. And I think there's other combos out there that could be cool too. Humanity Falls, thanks for the great two months, man. Glad you're still enjoying it. Now, that room right there was our weapon room, but uh, we don't want our weapon until we clear the floor with our base weapon here. In my experience, the first floor is pretty consistent to clear with just your normal weapon. Then you can pick up your uh, upgraded weapon, whatever it may be, uh, a little bit later in the floor and conserve some ammo for floor two. Interesting. I wonder why the ghost didn't spawn sooner. Or maybe he was hitting the ghost too? Oh, I did that to myself. I hit the turret there first. See, I, I wavered on what my target was. And I think in this room the turret should always be the first target, the one up here. Alright, hey, key right in front of the vault. If there is a vault on a the floor, there will be a key. Awesome.
125 125% damage is really good, especially for floor one. Another bomb, nice. All right, there's also a secret room in every single uh, floor. So to figure out where it is, it has to be only one uh, square blocks on each side. It definitely could be there. How about over here? Oh, let's try this one. That's what I thought. Recovers three HP, so this will be back to twelve, and then we need the extra two parts here for uh, thirteen total. Nice. Let's check out our weapon. Phasing laser is really nice. So this is a shoot through uh, through walls. Phasing is just nice for clearing. Whoa there, buddy. Got him, nice. Um, what do you want to buy the story? We can't buy HP up. Might as well buy everything, or most everything. Let's buy the HP up and two more bombs, so we're maxed out here. Five percent damage is definitely our goal to buy here. Yeah, Grunty Tifa, the phasing laser can do that, but it does allow us to shoot through, just like directly through, which is awesome. Does that get assist? Yes, let's just take the 5% damage now. Should have gone for the Overlord there first, next time. Hey, me too, Dane Leader. I absolutely love the music in this game. It's very uh, fitting and awesome. Really great variation. Nice. Oh, he hit me there at the end. What a cheap shot. That's a lot of, uh, that's a lot of spooters. A little more max ammo, nice. So you were relatively low on ammo here. Clear the rest of the floor before getting our weapon at least. Extra bomb, nah. Uh, let's go for a focus here. This is better for long term, for a long and vulnerable time between hits. We get into a bad situation on the boss, <laughs> like the last boss where there's three super gnarly phases. Helps you out a lot. Jeez, cats. Might have disconnected the cam there, my goodness. Yeah, what's she doing there, Winston? You need to calm yourself, James. Cats. Oh, secret room where he is. 
I think of this lantern right here, it's not, uh, not right there. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, I can't access from this side, so it's either here or here. We'll just bomb this room, and then we'll know. Triple black bass infested uh, laser. That's good. Triple laser is... Uh, it's okay. The firing pattern on it is... Well, I guess it starts in the middle now. I feel like it was just uh, triple last time. Since it starts in the middle and spreads out, that's better. Too bad. Take one damage there. Always room for improvement. Piercing shotgun style revolver. Piercing triple laser. Let's take piercing triple laser. That sounds nice. The up close damage for uh, clearing here will be good. We lost phasing on the other laser, but whatever. There'll be more weapons to come. Hey, Tealy Bear, thanks for the uh, great 34 months, man. Hey, glad to uh, hear you found something you're enjoying pursuing. It's wonderful to hear. Okay, recover 3 HP here. We definitely have the uh, the money to get all this stuff. We're, we're going to buy this for sure. We're going to save up for that, uh, that heal, I think. So, the mini bosses that you fight on every floor to unlock the actual boss floor can drop one of two things. They can drop... They can drop a health or they can drop uh, an all ammo. Okay. Nice. 16 HP is a good amount. Sorry about that. Whoa, don't do it, bud. Don't do it, bud. Whoa. Okay, that was my fault, I guess. It's a tough, uh, tough room. Spikes do damage, you gotta be careful there. Uh, don't need the bombs yet. Probably should've used one that last room, but... You live, you learn. You shoot some fish with laser beams. Pretty good up close. Okay, we're gonna wait to open this until we clear the floors. We obviously have a good weapon here. We can probably uh, fight the boss of this, I'd say. For a wide boss, um, this would be really, really fortunate. Um, I think it's a little bit early to be taking 400% ammo for anything. Hey, I can't click right now. Can you just type the name of it in the chat, Tealy Bear? Always interested in looking at stuff like that. 
I mean, this is the real, uh, the first real bullet hell uh, that I've played, I suppose. I don't really include Isaac to be uh, a real bullet hell. Nothing like this. Still a very challenging and engaging game, but there are so many more projectiles in this game compared to anything I've played short of boshy boss fights, which are a lot more memorization. This one's definitely pushed my skills to the limit, and I appreciate that about it. Oh, let's grab teleport when dashing here. So this allows us to teleport through projectiles, through uh, through enemies, do a lot more defensive, uh, good stuff. Hey, cool to you there. Thanks for sharing, man. Where do we think our secret room is? I think it's here. But what if it's not? It's going to be one of those floors where it could be like eight different places. Indeed. Well, we got the bombs to show for it. Okay, it wasn't there. It wasn't there. Yikes. Yikes. Gotta be down here, though. Maybe the room that points to it like that was the indicator I should have been looking for. Still got a lot to learn about this game. That's correct, ZC Stover. The hitbox is the green dot on the screen. Oh, hey. Triple laser should be pretty good here, actually. Okay, I take back the laser being good here. It's not. Dude, I feel like I found some sort of sick sweet spot there. That was pretty cool. You did a good little ship. That was a disgustingly good boss fight. More lucky than good on that last portion, but, you know, that little ship made it look good. Um, let's go check our weapon room here real quick. Need to at least peek at this. We do get money for opening that up. Triple overheat fireball. Now that is a disgusting weapon. And you know what? I think we're going to go ahead and head over to the other room here and grab 400% uh, ammo. So 741 shots here. We'll see if this ba backfires on us uh, later. But I know this weapon is going to be real good for everything. Overheat Fireball I haven't seen for a few play sessions. It is good, especially with this much bonus damage. Hey, you got there, Wobble. I'm happy for you. Wow, increasing maximum hit points by a third here would bring us up to uh, a lot. But let's take cheaper stores here. This pretty much guarantees you're going to be able to buy everything from the stores uh, from this point forward. The destruction. Oh yeah, those are money now too. The stores are ours to to gamble at. Have a gamble, friend. He's a lucky one. I'll be back for that swarm bomb. Do we have a uh, voltaic on this one? Yeah, I think we do. So those can't even hurt us. Twenty-one HP would have also been good for sure. But we shouldn't need twenty-one HP to win. Certainly not.
Boom, bam, blammo. Okay, so I can actually get back to the 400% max by getting the max ammo thing. I didn't realize that. So that 400% ammo is really a way to extend your pool. Oops. I guess that actually makes sense because the uh, the other ones are 20% of your max ammo, and since we're overextended, uh, overextended here, it can't actually add to that total. Whoa. Pretty great, Chase Jones. I'm certainly enjoying it. Okay, we're not going to swap weapons here. What I should do, though, is pop this now for the most money. We're at a 2.5 times multiplier, so let's do this. Uh, yeah, no way we're dropping this weapon, not with this much ammo. Breaking the crate does give a pretty decent amount, though. about 30 hours in this game now. I have uh, two victories on normal and a whole lot of content to go through. I'm certainly not uh, wouldn't consider myself great at bullet health, but the consistency and improvement has definitely been uh, solid throughout. We're much better now than we were when we first started playing without question. Yeah, no kidding, Kerry. All right, no thanks on that Align Vulcan. After this run, I'm going to turn on all of the uh, weapon modifiers and uh, activate all the different weapon types. Holy guacamole. He just get triple shot, though? Oh, I see. That wasn't actually increasing our ammo. That was increasing our ammo maximum. Secret room can only be right here, right here. So let's check this out. More max ammo, got it. I understand now. Well, it looks like here's where we are. There's no other store. Might as well gamble away my fortune. Look how lucky I am, though. We can get another swarm bomb if we just spend a little bit three times in a row. I think that's where I draw the line. Let's guarantee we're buying everything from future stores. Okay, cool, so... Uh, the Overlord is considered mech. Good to know. I'm gonna go ahead and use that there. And maybe we'll leave some of the modifiers off. I think turning all the weapons back on is fair, though. No weapons bad, just some like this are better. Oh, I don't know what my fingers were doing there. It's pretty good, though. Spicy Pickles, thanks so much for the 37 consecutive months. You're amazing. Not bad. There's one out of three nemesis for the Overlord. I think we got a real good shot at getting a victory here. <laughs> okay, I get it. What a room. Only made complicated by the overheat. Nice. Uh, I'd like to get auto bomb here, I think, for my last uh, my last upgrade. That'd be really nice.
Hey, yes, right, Arctur. If you're remembering correctly, we were really struggling there uh, for a little bit. We got over the uh, over the hump, though. Not gonna say I'm great at this game now, but I'm definitely a lot more consistent at least getting to the Overlord. I'd say we get to the Overlord almost every run now. At least on normal. It recovers all health and ammo, increase max HP, extra... Man, that's tough. I mean, I guess we go for increase max HP here and hope for some health drops, because that's the best I can do. Wow, tough teleport. What? I mean, I could teleport through there, but dang, it's a tough room. Take like a major risk to clear that one. If we have teleporter, we can get past that, but even then. Whoa, there. Explodey time. <laughs> These are all fine weapons, but, uh. You know what I'm here for. What are these guys? What is that? I don't understand. No, oh, yeah, Devil Deal would be sick here if we get the uh, health for items. Heck yeah. Okay, then. Staying alive. Man, that was my fault. Okay, we got up to 20 HP here. Awesome. Okay, that was my bad. That was a lot of laser beams, though. Not even sure I want to look for the secret room here. I mean... Well, if it's not there, it's so likely here. And if it's not there, it has to be here. I'm not wasting any more bombs. It's okay. We don't need no stinking bombs. No right, buddy. Okay, you got me there. Yeah, I think it is behind the boss door indeed, uh, Katie Regard. That's okay though. I should have just saved my bombs there. There's not much that could have been in the secret room. No lesson learned. Oh, 
Okay. I'll be the first to admit that was not my best Overlord fight, but we got there, and we're on to floor six. We got a nice chunk of change here, too. Balls apart. Welcome to the damper. Thanks so much for that Twitch Prime love, man. Yeah, maybe floor six will be very generous to the health. Okay. Yeah, that's going to happen for me. We're having some sort of crazy bunker fight over here. Nice. There is no uh, upgrade room on this floor, unfortunately, so we're not going to be able to get uh, a heal. But we can kill bosses to get a heal. I see. Yeah, if you leave the uh, if you leave the room after the Overlord, it counts as a win, but you don't get to see this floor. Man, do I want practice right now? Thank you for pointing that out, though. So that's very true. It's an easy way to dunk a run that was otherwise very good. Oh, that's right. He's had phasing. I remember. I remember. It's a dirty tarp, I tell ya. Okay, we got one more Nimbus before we fight the boss. We do have 10 HP here, which is not, not a bad amount. It's just not our full, you know, our full mark here. Let's check it out. What do we got going on? We got Railgun, Charge Faster, Phasing. Ooh. Shielded. Oh my god. Shielded Razor. How can that not be disgustingly good for the boss fights? Because it shoots a lot more than bullets ass. Now, uh, Phasing... Phasing charge faster railgun is also pretty amazing. We already lost a lot of our max uh, max ammo, so if we were going to take that, it had to be right before the boss fight. In hindsight, I might have wanted to wait there. But we'll stick with our uh, what got us here. All right, this is it. We got two bombs, 11 health, and uh, triple overheat fireball. Taco Bale, thanks for the 44 consecutive months, man. You the real MVP. Appreciate you, dude. That was good. That was good. We had the right idea, though. I get the pattern now.
Pretty good. Pretty good. Well, I can't and won't complain about that run. That was nice. Going in cold? I'll take it. Let's go ahead and make some changes at the shop here. So, uh, does does that boss have an archetype? Um, uh, we learned earlier, thank you to the chat, uh, that the Overlord is mechanical. We did rock the first phase too, you're right, Nvidia. We did nice. A lot of good dodges that run. A lot of good things to be happy about. Zulon1123, thanks for the seven consecutive months, and thank you. Hey, sure is black. Thanks for the 27 consecutive months, dude. Glad you can make it. Let's go to the shop here and see uh, see what's up. Yeah, we'll toggle the sword back on. Consecrated weapons are powerful against the undead. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I'll bet the last boss probably has to be a spellcaster, right? Must be. Let's just turn everything on here and we'll... done. Alright, let's buy, uh, buy another care package here. Oh, I see. You can toggle it, and we can turn it on anytime. Interesting. So if you had the money, you can buy it, uh, for any run. No ghostly squeal for me. Fair enough. Give it a go. Vulcan is like an improved uh, base weapon. I guess how to kind of describe it. I think there would be a bonus damage mod for the last boss, but maybe there's not. Maybe there's not. Oh, we gotta pay 1500 for our Valky here. That's pretty, uh, pretty much a bummer. Blueberry Man, thanks for the 32 consecutive months. Appreciate you. Let's take auto bomb this time. That was the the perk we were missing on the last run. That's a good good job there, chompers. That's nice. Get a little bit of extra max ammo for that since we're already at full health. Whoa, icicle mages. I see what you did there.
Well, let's buy that vault key now. It's pretty tempting. I don't know. 20% max ammo for 1250. If there's enough left over on the floor to buy it, maybe. I think we crack the weapon after this room. It should work. Yeah, there it is. Triple phasing spear. Uh, freeze railgun. Let's give this uh, triple phasing spear a try. That's pretty cool. Well, let's not forget this store, though. Is taking... No, no. We can get 50% damage inside the vault. We gotta check. Let's take the gamble here. We also get money for fighting the boss, so we can potentially come back. What? Oh, I see. Burst Gatling Vulcan. Homing Razor is always good. Let's take the Homing Razor here. We also gain money for swapping weapons there. Glitch, thank you so much for the 32 consecutive months, dude. Glad you're still enjoying it. It's really wonderful to hear. Yeah, the piercing nature of the uh, the razor is really gonna mess this boss up for sure. You know, I should have gone back and bought that ammo, but I didn't. But I didn't. We had a good boss fight there. How much does it improve your modifier when you complete the boss fight? Uh, we're already at 180%. I don't think we'll be missing that ammo too much here. Oh, this is tough. Let's just go for the damage here and improve default weapon. This way, if we do get uh, locked out of having a nice weapon, we can at least be... Uh, still have some deeps. Alright guys, I, I really hate to do it, but I have to stop right here. I've been uh, had a sour stomach all day, and we've tried to keep it out of the stream, but I just hit like that next level of nausea, so I'm going to stop right here and call it a night. We'll be back uh, again tomorrow, hopefully feeling a bit better. I'm glad we could uh, play FTL and Monoliths, though, today. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. Have a wonderful evening. You're the best.